Hello everybody. So Keen have quite recently released this visual scripting tool for Space Engineers, which allows you to create your own missions and build your own worlds with a lot more um, options on what to put in and triggers for things to happen. I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to open the visual scripting tool um, and a guide on making your very first sort of world using the scripting tool. Um, I'm going to be following the Keen's guide that they've published on their site. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. First off, you're going to want to um, find the visual scripting tool. So if you're running the development branch, it's okay at the moment. I think in the stable, it's not existing. Um, I'm assuming it'll be coming pretty soon to the stable branch though. So it might be on the stable branch already if you're watching this. Um, so you're gonna wanna go to your uh, users, your users, Steam library, Steam apps, common, files, space engineers, tools, and then Vage, uh, v Rage Editor folder. And in here you'll find these uh, batch files. You've got visual, uh, visual scripting batch file here. So if you double click on this thing, sometimes it takes a few seconds to load up, but um, it'll open up a totally different program, which is the V Rage Editing Script Editor. Now the first time you run this thing, you're going to only have this VRage Tools um, tab at the top and you're going to want to go to Plugins and make sure Visual Scripting tool here is ticked. Once that's ticked, it'll uh, enable this little tab at the top here. And the other thing you're going to want to do is to go to Settings and specify the uh, content path for your Space Engineers, which is your uh, Steam library, Steam apps, common files, space engineers, and then contents, uh, content folder, sorry, in there also. So you're going to need to do that or else this won't work properly. So once you've done that, you can go into the visual scripting tab. Um, and this is where we'll be building the, uh, the visual script, um, working on it. But before we do that, first off, we want to make a world in space engineers. So we're going to open up space engineers. We're going to go to custom game and we'll just pick a empty world for now um, I'm going to call this script X I don't know um, and this is going to want to be in creative I think you can do this in survival as well using the um, space master mode but we'll stick to creative for now and the really important thing here is on the online mode this needs to be offline otherwise the uh, scripting editing mode won't work in here so we've got all that we don't need to do anything else i'm just going to also untick the cargo ships in here just so that we don't get enemy ships spawning and attacking us while we're building this um and then we create the world so we now script x world so when you're in your space engineers world the first thing you want to do is just build a quick little platform um just something to work off of three blocks by here. 10 blocks, something like that. And then, um, oh, damn it. <laughs> and then we're going to want to throw a med bay down. So it's the work from a couple of batteries so the mendo has got power, and we'll throw a grab chain on there as well. We can walk along on this. And then at the end, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to recolor one of the blocks. Like so. So we've got everything we need now. So after we've got our little platform to work off, press zero just to get your hand up and then press F11 two times. And it brings you to this scripting tool mode here. So here you can scroll around, you can uh, use your cursor, you can select an entity and you can move it around if you want. You know, it's interesting you move it while people are on it. So, uh, you know, you can actually can do things with it so you have to be careful not to throw your guy off it when you're moving it but we don't want to move the platform that we've built we want to create a new entity oh, too fast and I want to create a new entity just on this red square here so if you put your cursor your camera just over the red square here and then what we want to do is we want to spawn entity like so now that will spawn a little uh, circle with lines there that you can click on you select it so you can see that and we can move it around if we want to tilt it around or 
scroll it around wherever you want to put it. So once we've got the entity in our place here, then we want to rename this. Oh, it's renamed Waypoint 1 already, but if it's not, just make sure it's called re, uh, Waypoint 1. So just got rename. Underscore. Oops. Uh, 1. So we've got Waypoint 1. Confirm. No, it doesn't confirm because it's already renamed it, but yeah. Just to double check, so it'll need that as a right name later. And then what we want to do is go close to the area, or possibly actually just come out of the back a little bit. Um, once you've got it selected, we want to s attach to specific entity um, here. And we want to type in a trigger here. Um, so we'll type this first trigger. Confirm. So, oops, selected the uh, wrong thing then. So now you can see that we've got some interesting things here showing up, um, which is showing where the trigger will be as such, as in Sunday. So once we've got this thing done, we can save the map. So uh, escape to go back on demand. And obviously when you're back in the normal mode, you can't see any of these entities or triggers. So we want to go save as uh, script X, okay, um, and then exit to main menu. So now we're going to move over to the uh, scripting tool, the VRage uh, script editor, and in here we're going to want to go onto the visual scripting tab and go on new. We're going to want to call this one the <coughs> level script, and we'll just call it. Script Z. <laughs> uh, create. And we come up with this wonderful little screen. If you use your middle mouse button, hold your middle mouse button, you can drag and move it around. But ultimately, what we want to be doing right now is going over to the event triggers and we want to open up the area trigger uh, entered here. So double click on this and we get something called an event popping up here. Then we want to go to right click on the grey area at the back and choose the branching node, like so. So then we want to drag the area triggered to the branching node, this little, so that's the input area. These are the inputs on the left and these are the outputs on the right. So uh, here obviously this is saying when you enter the area, it's uh, asking the branch node, is this true or false? Then we want to spawn an arithmetic node. So you right click and here you can see the arithmetic. We want to spawn that thing down here. On the arithmetic node, we want to choose the double equal sign here. Then we want to spawn a constant node. So right click and down on the bottom is constant. And here we want to type in first trigger. So this is linking it to the trigger, the um, the little thing we put in the Space Engineers uh, in the game on the double F11. Um, so this is linking it to that. So it's first trigger. Okay. Then we want to go to the event node and grab the trigger name and bring it down to the input A on the arithmetic node here. And then con uh, connect this constant node to the input B here. Then we want to connect the arithmetic node output to the comparator on the branching node. Then we want to go to the branching node and drag the true into just empty space and let go. Then we can go into the sandbox game options and down here you'll find the notifications and show notifications here. So we'll double click on that one and we get the show notifications box up. This one is like a text script that'll uh, show up on your screen when uh, you enter the uh, area. Then we want to grab the uh, output sequence from uh, show notifications and drag it into empty space. And then here we will find, I think it's in environments, no it's not, it's effects, maybe there we go, effects. <laughs> We want uh, create explosion, so I'll choose that.
So then you want to place down a function node. So right click anywhere on the background, go function, and you get this uh, box up again. If you know what it is you're looking for in this one, you can hold Control and F, and you get the search bar at the top. It takes a second to load. There we go. And here we want to look for get entity position. So get entity. So get E. Uh, get entity position here. Uh, and we'll place this thing down here. So then we want to connect the uh, get entity position vector 3D ret to the vector 3D position on the create explosion. And then we're going to name the entity position. So this we need to link it to the um, waypoint that we put on the map. So this is one. So we'll name this one waypoint underscore one. And finally we want to just edit a couple of the uh, text boxes in here. So show notifications, we can type in whatever you want to be coming up on the uh, screen. So uh, kaboom will do for me. <laughs> and this, uh, how long it takes for the message to disappear in milliseconds. Disappear time milliseconds. So this is how long the uh, message will be printed on your screen for. And also you've got the name, so uh, the colour should I say, so we can change this one to red let's say. And also with the create explosion, um, for the uh, for this test we're just going to have zero damage, otherwise you're going to be ruining your platform and killing yourself every time you walk into it. And uh, also you've got a radius. Uh, I think this is in meters, so uh, I don't know what the limit is on this, how big the largest uh, explosions can be, um, but on the guide for Keen, they've just specified to add 40 in there, so I'm just sticking for 40 for now. So next you're going to need to find where to save your uh, newly created script to. So you want to go to your uh, Windows users, your user, go on app data, roaming, Scroll down to find Space Engineers, and in here you'll have a folder called Mods. So open up the Mods folder, right click, and we'll make a new folder. We'll call this Script X, I think is uh, what we've been going with. We'll call it Script Z and Chris Script X, but uh, it doesn't really matter. So uh, yeah, we've created that thing, and then here we want to go to Save As, and we want to go to the same. Uh, Thing again, so app data, roaming, down to space engineers, mods, and here you can find script X, so we can save it into here, and it's called script Z, save. Once you've saved it, go back into your space engineers, and you can go onto your load game. So your script X world that we created before, we're going to want to go to edit settings, Creative, yep, that's all okay. We're still in offline mode. And then we want to go to mods. And in mods, you can find your little folder here that says script X. So we want to add this to the active mods list and press OK. OK. And then we can load into the world. Right, so you recognize the world we just built earlier. We've got the red spot, hopefully, if we walk here. Okay, it's happening a little bit further out than... Uh, oh, there we go. Yep, we've got an explosion that appears when you walk over the uh, the marker that I placed. So looking on... Let's have a look on uh, the this mode here. It's this circle here that's uh, causing the... I don't know why there's two, though. That's interesting. It wasn't two the last time we did this, but... Uh, i done something wrong, obviously, on uh, creating that bit. But yep, you can see... It looks like it's, it must be, it's the trigger that sets it off area. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. We've got, um, we've got it sort of working. I think I need to fiddle with the placement of the trigger again when I place it next time or, you know, be aware of that. Now, the other sort of really interesting things about how this works with it being a mod and that, um, we were really concerned that you can't play this on a multiplayer game because you're in offline mode. I go back to the main menu. Um, 
the load game and script X we can edit settings you can change it to friends only it's okay and then you'll notice if you try to load it it'll say local mods are not allowed in multiplayer use workshop mods so a way around this is going into your so options mods And when you're in your mods list here, script X, you can actually publish it onto the workshop um, and then re-download it and it'll come up as a Steam uh, workshop mod then. The script that you've written will come up. So then once you load the world in, you can load it in multiplayer and your friends can join it and automatically load in their script. So all of these things that you can build in uh, the V-Rage um, script, you can play through multiplayer, which kind of gets really interesting because uh, when you start getting into things like um, these create explosions which was a I think it's a function was it let's just make this a little bit higher so we can see function um, so blocks we can change states of doors uh, AI this is what I kind of want to get into is you can start making drone spawn so you could quite easily create a multiplayer game whereby you fly through a large space station or something and it will make drones appear in the space station as you're going I'm really trying to figure out if you can make um, it doesn't look like you can create like the wolves or the spider creatures on the planets make it uh, those sorts of things appear that would be really nice to do but you can make it spawn grids as well so if you've got local grids saved into the file of wherever you're playing the game um, you know you could make it so people walk through a door and a whole grid will spawn right in front of them every time they walk through it could get a little bit awkward if people tried to keep spawning it in the same place so maybe we need some more complicated scripting just to have it only do that once um, so grids, GP you can make GPS positions spawn when you walk to certain areas, which is nice. You can make like a big treasure hunting thing when you get to one place, you get a GPS to the next place. Um, fog, I've not played with these fog things, we can do stuff like that on there. Um, you know, I mean, as, as scripting goes, it's the world's your oyster with what you can do on this which is the most interesting thing. I've not had a deep play into what you can and can't do with things. Like I said, I don't know if you can, I'm trying to figure out if you can spawn um, like NPC spider type things. Um, and at the moment I've not figured out how to do that. Um, but you know, it does kind of leave you open to your imagination on what you want to do using this thing. I also believe that there is ways to save this um, into one world and then upload the world onto the uh, workshop but this I haven't yet figured out how to do so the only way I can figure out how to do it is loading up as two is actually having one as the world and one as the mod and then if anyone plays it they have to go through you have to upload the world and the mod and then connect them together themselves um, I think there is a way to do this if you uh, attach things but I haven't played with this yet and I'm sure there's a way to do it so I'll, I'll look into that and I'll release a bit of a guide on how to do that in the future as well but I hope this gets you somewhere with uh, creating your first mod and possibly going down the line of uh, you know building quite some interesting missions so thanks for watching if you are interested in seeing more tutorials on this in the future throw me a subscribe and uh, I'll try and get on them as quick as I can cheers guys goodbye